who used to have layoff after layoff, and this time they're even shutting down their child care. Well, it looks like we're still getting those layoffs and most likely more to come. I know Citibank also laid off 20,000 people, but a lot of tech is is starting a lot of layoffs. And now that the free money or the low, low interest money that they could raise and venture capitalists are no longer pouring in money, it's getting harder and harder to maintain profitability or a good balance sheet. So what these guys are doing is they're laying off really middle management and low end performers so they can save money, but you're gonna to start to see perks start dropping. Now, in my history of understanding of businesses, usually like when I worked at Radio Shack, when the benefits started to drop, that was usually a bad sign that the company was not doing well. Now, I don't think, uh, usually we don't think Google's not doing well, but here's the thing, from a small, from and I'm technically a small business, even though I got quite a few large size businesses, but I don't use Google. You know why? It's expensive. And as when you run businesses, you got to cut costs where you can cut costs. And Google, just too much. So I'm kind of looking for, I'm, try, I'm, kind of, I'm, I'm looking for other things that can do well with it, right? So I can only imagine that's how people are doing in everything else. It would probably someone just walk by my truck for no reason. But, uh, it's a uh, their look Google's not making as much as they used to off of small businesses. And I've noticed a lot of my competitors are going bankrupt by overspending for Google because it does not really lead you anywhere. And I've been doing a lot of other work. Uh if you want to check that out, you're gonna have to go join my Patreon because that's where the video is for that. Cause I, I'm not giving away my secrets for free. That's rule number one about getting wealth. But anyway, that's besides the point. They're going you're gonna see the benefits stop. Now, I'm one for having a healthy cafeteria. That's like well, one of my goals for my moving company and logistics companies to have that. And I like the fact that a lot of those tech companies have that. But at the same time, that's got to cost a fortune. It's got to cost a freaking fortune to be able to maintain that, staff it, get the food in, get the food that everybody wants in. I can see that's probably going to be one of the first things to get cut. And it's strange because even back in the day, when I was a kid in the early 90s, my mom would take me to work sometimes because she just couldn't find a sitter. And they had a cafeteria like Merrill Lynch, Ernst & Young, um, American Express. They had cafeterias. They don't have that anymore. I think that ended like towards the, towards the 2000s. But I think Google and all those tech industries are going to start getting rid of those. The child daycare, probably going to start getting rid of those. Because uh, and there's also a lot of expenses with child daycare too that people don't realize. Like, ever since SIDS really took like the first page on infant care, it's like insurance skyrocketed. I know a lot of people that used to own it and they were, could couldn't sell daycares because it, they could not get someone that could buy it and get the insurance. And people can't it. That's why it's costing so high. But I get it. It's like, how the hell do you insure for sudden infant death syndrome? It's very hard. And when I worked at a furniture retailer about 10 years ago, the same thing. They got rid of all their cribs, all the baby furniture, because they did not want to be bothered with the insurance of it. So I, I think that's what Google is, because the insurance is probably eaten up like 100 to $200 million dollars of their cash flow and premiums. And even though we've never heard anything bad, it's just not worth the risk. So that's probably what they did. They probably cut it out. And they're probably gonna start cutting out more because they gotta hit a baseline margin for their in shareholders and investors because they're not paying dividends. So but you know expect more layoffs. It's gonna you're gonna see a lot more but probably once once tech is done then banking will happen. Then once banking's done, then you're going to look at dealerships, small businesses, and everybody else is just going to curb down. We're probably going to spike up to about 10 to 12 unemployment rate. Wouldn't be surprised me in next year. It's going to be interesting. Definitely going to be interesting, but stay tuned.